Yeah, you know, maybe one day you'll awake Or maybe you're already awoken But don't run away from the truth We need the truth Don't run away from the truth Yeah. Hang in there. Run the race all the way to the end. Run the race all the way to the end. Spending money not the only thing we need to do. Giving money to the poor is what we need to do. A lot of lies in this world, but we need the truth. I know you run to run away, but we need the truth. I know you want to run away, but we need the truth. It's like we living in the cage, living in the zoo. Why you wanna run away when we need the truth? Why you wanna run away when we need the truth? And we're gonna get this truth. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Today is 5.30 a.m. April 28th, 2020, in the eastern plains of the USA. I hope that all is well. Shalom to the family. Welcome to the show. If this is your first time tuning in, I'm your host, Michael Israel, and um, today's show is called Let... Hey, what is today's show? It's kind of late. Mind you, um, I've been up about 24 hours. My sleep cycle is a little off. Uh, I don't know about you all, you know, since we're on furlough or unemployed right now uh, during this world pandemic, your sleep cycle may be off if you've been unemployed for a while now. With me, it's like that as a painter and uh, as a runner and as I create podcasts for you, uh, my cycle is, is a little bit different. Not only that, but I'm in school right now. Uh, in film, which I've taken up recently to learn more about the industry, and um, it's very, very immersive, and there's a lot of things that I want to discuss with you on a different time about the secrets of the industry, how the game really goes, what these celebrities really do, the rituals and the sacrifices and the dues that you have to pay. It's, It's a crazy game. And I'm in school learning about this. You know, why not? I'm running real TV, right? Uh, But in the future, the concept is to show the glory of the Lord and uh, create a film and or films, movies, if you will, that are uh, um, uh, understood on a conscious and subconscious level that develops our psychological mind to take us on a higher spiritual plane of understanding but not to make things so much subliminal but to make things that are subliminal be understood i hope i'm not going on a tangent i really want to make this show short but i said all that to say this that my schedule has been hectic so bear with me as i try to talk to you i wasn't even going to do a show actually but i had it on me to uh drop this tonight because (laughs) I went to Home Depot and got a little plants. And I'm, I got a little sniffles right now because I've been inside mostly. I went running the other day. I uh, did like a mile and a half. And then um, it's a light run, you know. Typically, I do marathons. And I, Oh, by the way, coming soon. Not right now. Coming soon. Uh, I'm going to do GoPro. I'm going to do a GoPro uh, scenic runs. I'm going to do some scenic runs. And then, uh, you know, we'll talk and chop it up and do a video uh, that you can see the sceneries of the the courses that I do, some exercises tip, exercising tips and some nutritional um, ideas that you can, uh, you know, look into and, uh, you know, just mix things up a little bit, show you how I do a, a few things, not all, but just a few. Um, but yeah, I went to Home Depot and I went out in the, in the elements and I got the sniffles because of the pollen, like where I live. I mean, the dew and the pollen is crazy. It's everywhere. 
and I just haven't been out there that much. And then going to Home Depot and getting some of the supplies that I got about gardening. Um, I think being in that Bonacle garden uh, influenced my sinuses to act the way they're acting right now. So I'm good. But, like, I was sneezing a little bit, like, gotcha, gotcha, out of, out of the blue. Like, you could just tell. You know when you're sick and you know when it's just a sniffle. Like, your ears are itching, your nose, my nose is itching, ears. And I'm like, man. You know, you're doing that thing like, <coughs> how many of y'all do that? You know what I mean? You're like, <coughs> dang, rubbing your in. <coughs> Some of y'all can't stand it, so my bad. But you know what I'm saying. It's real TV. Anyway, today's show, uh, let me see now it come to me. The Today's show is going to be called... Let's see, what can it be? Let a garden teach you faith. Let a garden teach you faith. Yeah, that'll be the name of the show. Uh, by the way, just another heads up. Um, this Friday, May 1st at 11.35 p.m. on Spreaker.com. We're going live on Real TV. We're going to do a three-hour segment about the global shutdown and how we need to go back to tradition. We're going to talk about a lot of important things and uh, it's going to be a very immersive show that if you have the time, which we all should, <laughs> or uh, if you just have the opportunity to, I know we have other things we're getting into, but if you have the opportunity to tune in live, if you have any questions in the chat box when we're taking breaks or anything, or you just want to say your piece or hellos, you're more than welcome to join. It's free to do. I don't get any monetary uh, compensation for it or anything. Um, so, and the downloads are available if you need to download any podcast for the future, you're going on a road trip, whether you're cleaning, whether you're doing some DIYs and you just need something to bump for a minute. That, Because at the end of the day, you know what I mean, through all of this, we need more than just, we really need more than dang on um, music and movies. You can only watch Netflix for some t for so long. I'm sure you can witness that. You can only sit down for so long. you like, man, I just, this is cool. But like, I need something. Some, I need something real. I need something for my soul. Like, I, the movie's cool. The music's cool. But, like, I don't want to hear that right now. I just need something to, I want to know what's going on. I want to know what's next. I want to know what the Lord had. What the, what's up with the Lord? Like, what's he doing? Like, what is his plan for us? You know? Um, that kind of, like, vibe. You feel me? So, that's that's what we're going to do on Friday. And today, I'm doing this show because I wanted to refresh my plants. It's spring cleaning. You know what I mean? We're at the month of Abib. It's the brand new year. I hope you're cleaning up the crib. I hope you're refreshing. I'm about to, I'm doing so much DIYs. Like, I'm, man, from making homemade, uh, dang on, what was that I made the other day? Made homemade, uh, Jamaican beef, beef patties. I'm making bread from scratch. I'm making lemonade with strawberries. You know what I mean? L simple stuff. Man, I got a uh, a salt grinder. You know what I mean? And I, I got some good salt. You know, I I put the salt in the in the salt <laughs> the salt grinder. You know what I mean? Just simple stuff. Like I was saying last fall, as y'all as y'all been t tuning in, who those have been rocking with me and listening and viewing the video presentations. I've been saying 2020 is plenty, plenty. Cut the middle, man. We cutting the plug this year. That's what it's all about. And um, and it's basically to in, to endorse uh, um, um, our independence from society because we can't depend on society no more. We can't depend on society no more. Things aren't going to be the same no more, you know, um, as far as, let's just say, the economy. Um, we won't be able to go back to the store and the food price is not going to be the same. Uh, you probably in your neighborhood right now, neck of the woods, everything is at cost. There's nothing on sale. There's no yellow stickers nowhere. 
And it's like, man, hold up, man. What the eggs not on sale? This is not on sale. You may see a few things. Don't get me wrong, but by majority, ninety percent of the store, everything is at price because they know you got the money. You getting your un, you getting your unemployment. You getting your six hundred every week for those who are getting it, and for those who haven't got it yet, you don't worry. When you get it, they're gonna give you uh, back pay up to the day it started. So you're gonna be good. You're gonna be straight. Um, plus, they know you got your stimulus. They're talking about another wave of a stimulus of possibly uh, $2,000 per month. You know what I mean? There's going to be a lot of new things. But what, that, what does that mean? That means is that, what that means is that if the economy does open up, things are going to be at cost because they know you got money. Gas is not going to be no longer uh, uh, the, uh, the price of a bottle of water. The gas is going to be maybe five to ten dollars wherever you depending on where you live because they're getting the barrels of oil at cost right now if the gas for a gallon of gas is like a dollar and some change then you have to uh, uh, put in perspective how on a global scale because the world is shut down the airplanes are not flying um, cars aren't moving and just by majority they're losing, so they they putting the cost down low just so they can get some type of money. So what's going on? You're gonna have the conglomerates, the elite, buying the oil at cost, and then as soon as the economy gets back right, they're gonna flip it and they're gonna send those barrels sky high. They break even and then get more back for their overhead. Oh man, see, I know I'm going off, and I want the show to be short. Man, I had nine assignments for class that I finished the other day. Like, niggas still in school, you feel me? Like, I'm in school, I'm a runner, I'm a avid painter. You know, to paint, I have some really cool concepts that I'm creating right now. I have a 7 foot by 15 foot painting that I'm working on. I've been working on for two years. I have some uh, recycled cans that I saved and I, I, I painted into certain different crafts of like local companies and things. I got like over 20 of those that I'm working on. I got over 30 different smaller different canvases that I'm working on. I'm making jewelry. I'm uh, making handbags out of cardboard and uh, uh, just I'm just in devil. I'm making paper from scratch. We got to get to the point where we can't depend on society no more. Like, we need to make our own soap. You need to grow your own food. You need to get some seeds and plant them. Because a garden can teach you faith. And we're going to talk about that in a moment. But I'm just saying that, yo, like, if I can do this full time, but my schedule is off. Like, even though we not working, like, I'm working. I got two commissions that I'm working on right now. Plus school, they dropping assignments on us when we had uh, uh, classes for from uh, three hours, three hour shifts, if you will, for a class. From now, where we're online and they chopped it to 20 to 35 minutes. And it's really, we ain't even learning nothing. It's really like, hey, how are everybody doing? You know, how, are you feeling well? Okay, uh, have this assignment due by next week, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? And it's crunch time where we'll be finished. Um... You know, um, anyways, man, it's it's just crazy. And amongst it all, I still got to do this. You know what I mean? This is just as important. Matter of fact, it's more important than the school. Where that stuff is like nothing. Like this, talking to y'all is like the real deal. Because when I created this show, all I wanted was somebody that can understand what I was going through. Like I really did this show for an outlet, and I never knew that I was going to grow to where it is today is crazy. It's crazy. When I look back on when I started, I was so, you go back and you listen to my first show. I like how I talk and how I deliver. I was so shy. I was so, such a hermit that like my voice, I was like, welcome to Real TV. And um, today, like I didn't even know, but like I had to exude confidence. But I was really shy. And then like over time, I really just was able to be, just be myself. Because, like, it wasn't even about the people. It's not even, even though, don't get me wrong. What I'm not saying it's not about the people because it is about the people. But what I'm saying is that in the beginning, 
of creating this show for you when it all started. It was all about just having someone that you could connect with. Because knowing a lot of information and you don't have it no, to no one to share with, it hurts. It's like a, it's like an arrow in a person's uh, body or salt on a wound or smoke in your eye or something or popcorn or a piece of jerky in your teeth. Like, you got to get it out. Like, it could sit there for a minute, but it's annoying. You know what I mean? You could deal with some of You know what I mean? But it's annoying. So to see the growth is really a blessing. It shows that there are people that understand this crazy and evil world and that there's a better place for us to go and to live, you know. And um, anyways, let's get into the show. You know how we do on Real TV. It's late. I haven't slept in like 24 to 32 hours. It's cat napping. I hope your schedule is normal and um, that a part of your spring cleaning for this new year you're also getting some plants. Plants, I started a year ago because I had uh, some seeds that was gifted to me from like Urban Outfitters. And they set on like my shelf <laughs> for like a full year before I even looked at it and opened it up. Lo and behold, I dang on planted my first uh, oregano and thyme and um, like basil and stuff. You know, I just like I, I said, you know, I'll try it one day, right? And um, this is like last year. And um, after a few days, you know, I ain't see nothing. I'm like, man, this is, this job, man, these seeds, I shouldn't even got them from Ur Urban Outfitters. That's the problem. I shouldn't have got it, even got them from Ur Urban Outfitters. Or maybe the seed's too small. How does the seed going to grow in this dirt like this? Maybe I got the wrong dirt. I'm questioning everything. I'm questioning the container. Maybe I shouldn't use plastic. I should use clay. Maybe I shouldn't uh, use the sunlight. I should have put it in, instead of this window, I should have put it over there. You know, uh, uh, instead of the uh, organic dirt, indoor dirt, dirt, I should have put it outdoors. You know, I'm putting, thinking of all these different variables, right? And lo and behold, the seed was growing the whole time. And what that goes to say is that <sighs> without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord. And what gardening is going to do is going to help. You build your faith. It's very, very important. It's a part of life, too. It's a part of life. Because even though, in perspective, when you're doing it for yourself, let's just say you want to plant just some herbs because you like herbs, right? You like to make spearmint tea. You like to cook spaghetti with oregano, thyme, and sage and stuff. So you like, okay, you know, or maybe you like canning. So you like, I'm, I like dill. I'm going to do some dill. So I'm going to do some pickles and boiled canned eggs and things so i'll do these type of herbs and you're doing it for yourself in your own crib right but imagine if we uh took it a little bit further and we did the order of the lord we got our own land and we put it on a bigger environment now it goes from self to family from self to neighbors from self to other people that can eat and then when we die off that those herbs that you planted are going to be for someone else Lord, Lord willing, if the earth is, if, the, if someone is still keeping it, being a husbandman to the land, right? That's just like certain trees that we see when we go to national parks. We love the shade. We love the shade when it's hot. But somebody, by faith and by the order of the Lord, took a seed and put it in the ground. Even though, now, don't get me wrong, the Lord planted trees and bushes and grass and stuff he created the world as we know it but we know that in this world within his creation that we can still create so someone at that national park wherever it is in your city somebody planted those trees and bushes to go where they were but they did it for the benefit not for themselves even though they enjoyed their job or whatever but it's for the future now it's for the people and it gives honor to the lord so in so many words, there's so many uh, uh, directions we can go with this, how a, a, a garden can teach you faith. Um, because you can't see the seed grow unless it's in a clear container in most parts. Then you can see the roots forming and things. But if you couldn't, when you finally see that leaf grow, it's really a blessing. You see the leaf. And then the leaf turns into a stem, and then the stem turns into a branch. 
you know, I mean, it turned into a little tree. It just like the seed doesn't even know its potential. All the seed knows is that, pardon me, is that it's, it's going to be, it's striving to be the best that it can. You know, it's striving to be the very best that it, it can. And in life, we are apt to change. We're apt to change. We go from being birthed like a seed, from being a leaf, to be a little stem, to be a little shrub. Then we're a tree. And then, like, even though, like, a family made, I hope I'm not making, I hope, I, I mean, I hope I'm making sense. It's late and I'm freestyling right now. But, like, a family creates a child. A family creates a child for the benefit of themselves. A mother and father wants to create a child. They create a child and let's just say they have a son. So it's for their pleasure, the child. But then if you switch perspectives, that child that is created is a seed in the world to be a help for someone else. If they are uh, 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 blessed to live, to see uh, uh, life longer and longer and longer. That child that was once a seed is now learning now. They're learning to either be a doctor, a carpenter, a, a lawyer, or whatever it may be, and they're going to help someone else, and then they're going to inspire someone else. You, you feel me? So it's like, ah, oh, sometimes you can't see the faith until you see the faith, but faith is not about seeing. Like, we could go to an ant bed, and you can look from an aerial view and see the ant bed looks like a donut hole. And you see all these ants just roaming around, which looks like a mound of dirt that's shaped like a donut hole, a donut hole mountain, right? But that's all you see. You know that they're working because they're moving all fast and it looked like their little antenna, they're stopping and they're like... They're like, yeah, the sugar's over there. They're like, oh, yeah, you know, however they're talking, right? But if you, we were to have hypersonic intelligence and were able to magnify our eyesight a million times underneath the ground and visually see their caves and tunnels and canals, we'll be like, oh, my goodness. Not only can we see the surface of the mound, but to see the work that they have done. Like, meaning like before faith is already kicking in before you can see it, before you see the, the leaf, the roots got to take place. You know what I mean? The roots got to take place. Like, it's just a garden will teach you faith because it really tests your faith. A garden tests your faith. It really does. Like, even me, like I'm, I'm working on it because like. I got to by faith. I'm I'm going by faith. Like sometimes I like I'm like, man, I hope I didn't put the seed too close to the top of the dirt, but I hope I didn't push it too far down. You know what I mean? I hope that I didn't uh I hope, you know, I still question it sometimes. But every day I'm looking at it to see if it's grow. First day, nothing. Second day I'm looking. The third day I'm looking, nothing. I'm like, "Dang, man." Fourth day, you looking. All week, you look at whole week, you see nothing. Two weeks, you see nothing. Like, you don't see nothing sprout. After two weeks, you like, dang, man, I, I don't know. Like, I know seeds are supposed to grow, but like, man, I don't know. Maybe I did this wrong. You know, I need to go and look on YouTube or something. I don't know because, like, I don't see anything. But I know the seed got to be growing, but you cannot see anything, yo. And when you finally see that leaf, it's like, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same way in life. We go through situations and... Um, in our situations, we want the Lord to do something for us. And just because the Lord didn't do it on our time, we think it's not there. We're looking at the Lord like a plant. It's like, Lord, come on now. I just asked you for this. I planted my seed. I prayed. I fast or whatever. You know, I'm trying to do good. I sinned the other day or something. But like, come on, Lord. I did put down my seed. I'm trying to water it how you are in it because you're trying to pray. You say your grace. You know what I mean? You slip up sometimes. Sometimes you don't water your faith. Like some days you don't pray. Some days you might slip up a sin. Some days you might curse. So you're not watering it. You're not putting it in the sun. Some days your plant get too much. Some days like you can't. Some days you can pray too much. You can't just like take five hours in a day and just pray. That's dumb. But now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that is. It's, it's a double entendre. 
it's not wrong, but it doesn't make it right at the same time. You feel me? Like, you don't need five hours in a day to pray. Like, a, a plant has to have... Now, don't take it the wrong way. Don't take it the wrong way because we're human. The Lord lives our heart, but I'm not promoting evil. I'm not promoting evil. That is not what I'm saying. But a plant needs, in order for a plant to live and to be successful, it needs a portion of day and it needs a portion of night. A plant is human. A plant, if you, a plant doesn't get darkness, if a plant doesn't go to sleep, then a plant can't live. If a plant had 24 hours of sunlight every day, all day long, a plant will shrivel up and die. On the same verse, if a plant had complete darkness all its life, it will completely die. Now, I'm not saying that we need evil. and I'm not saying that we have to be evil sometimes. We have to be good sometimes. I'm not saying that. That is not what I'm saying. But I do understand that we live in an evil world. We don't know the mind of the Lord. And we're, a lot, we're hard on ourselves sometimes. We ask the Lord for us a few things. And those few things that we need, maybe some person needs money. Maybe a person needs health. Maybe uh, you're asking for somebody else and you got, how, I don't know, whatever it is. You need a car. Uh, we have got all silly stuff. We got serious stuff that we ask for. We got little stuff, big stuff. Maybe you want a husband, you want a wife. And there's seeds that are planting. And some sprout faster than others. Like, for instance, basil. Once basil gets sprouting, yo, a basil, basil goes so fast. But yet there's certain fruit that don't populate till seven years. Like, yes, you want a husband, but you're not going to get a husband next week now. There's some things that got to iron, iron out first. Like, this seed really got to develop some roots. So, if this, this particular seed that takes seven years just for it to grow a piece of fruit, yo, like, there's certain things in our life that we really got to take care of before we get a wife. Like, you really got to stop beating your meat, bruh. Looking at porn, if you want a wife, you really... Uh, uh, lady, you got to like be submissive into your own husband and, and like, I mean, you're, uh, I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have to, I don't know, like you got to be more loving or faithful. You got to learn how to cook. Like maybe your husband that that's being prepared for you right now loves to eat, but you don't know how to cook. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever the variable or scenario is, you know what I'm saying? And whatever the kinks that you need to iron out first. Those are your roots. And but we're waiting on God. Or, or the most high rather. God is you know a term for those who are in the world. And who knows him as such. But that's a nickname. Dog is the opposite of God. right? He, his, his real name is Yahweh. Also the Elohim. Or the Heavenly Father. Or Father. or You know what I mean? It's different names. You know, the, Or you could say the one of all love. Or the creator of everything. You know the most high. You know it's different names. But. Uh, for those who know him as God, you know, um, God, he, um, he got, he, he's going to do what he's going to do for you. It's going to come. Don't worry. It's going to come. You just got to wait on it, you know, and I'm inspiring you because the season is right. It's prime to get some fruits and vegetables. We got to cut the middle man for one. It's good to have your own and it's going to help develop and build your faith. If you can do it. I, I already talked about this before, but you can't say it enough. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not sick. <laughs> I'm not sick. I'm just I it's a lack of sleep and plus I've been running uh on this. You know, I got to hunker down. Y'all pray for me, you know. And uh that I that I you know, everything is on the up and up. Lord guide me and everything help me, you know. And blessings to y'all too. Uh but yeah, man. Uh let a garden help with faith, you know. A garden can teach you faith, and um, a lot of things can. And uh, in the midst of the faith, you know, sometimes you think that because certain scenarios happen in your life, that um, it challenges you. But like a plant, it goes, a wind, the plant goes through changes in life. They got to deal with the wind. They got to deal with loss too. You know what I mean? There, there's people in our life that we lose. We lose there, if there's family members or friends, loved one or someone that you know. Like it may not be you. Cause let's just imagine you as a plant, right? But from across the meadows, you see other trees and bushes, and from your view, none of your leaves have fall. Like no one in your family has died. 
But don't get it twisted. Your leaves will fall in this due season. Somebody's going to fall. You know what I mean? Or you can. Any given time. You could shrivel up at any time. Lord could be like, you know what? This one is good. But I'm going a, I'm to a uproot this one. I'm going to uproot this plant. And uh, I'm going to trim it down. And I'm going to uh, keep the, uh, uh, the essence of the dirt. And I'm going to use it to form someone else or something. You know, whatever. But from afar across the meadows, you may see other leaves fall from other bushes and shrubs. And you see other people falling. Or the wind none knocked them down. They done fell out. They were rich. Now they're poor. Or you seen one sprout up so bad. And you're looking at yourself as a piece of grass. And you're like, man, how is that tree so tall? Man, that's not fair. But it's different. You're grass. That's a tree. Let that be a tree. You know what I mean? You could be a grass. Grass is still good. You got grass. You got trees. You got uh, 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 bushes. You got uh, uh, different things. You know what I mean? Uh, but faith is very important. It is, it is impossible to please the Lord without faith. Without faith is like mumbling and complaining. Now, faith and bravery is two different things. Faith, just do what it do. Faith is like, yo, are we getting on this plane? I'm going to sleep. Bravery is like, man, I, 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 I know I can do it, but, man, you know what? I'm going to do it. Man, but, man, I don't know, man. Dang, bro. Man, I don't know, man. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to stop trying. I'm going to do this thing, man. Let's go. Let's ride. Let's ride. I'm going to get on this. Let's go on the roller coaster, yo. Ah, I don't know, I don't know. All right, we up there, we up there. All right, we up, we on. All right, you at the top. It's like, oh, snap. Oh, man, we did this. Job. I'm brave, I'm brave. No, nah, you think that's faith. No, nah, faith ain't like getting on a roller. Faith is like, man, let's get on a roller coaster. We on a ride, bro. That, you know what I mean? Faith is like, yo, I ain't tripping. I'm going to bring a bag of chips on this roller coaster. <laughs> you know? What bravery is like, man, I'm ah! Where faith is like, ah, <laughs> that's the ones in the front with their arms waving. They're like, ah, <laughs> it be some people, I don't get it, yo. It be people on the roller coaster just rolling. They're like, <laughs> oh my god, oh, 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 oh. oh my god, oh, <laughs> like they laughing at the ones that are throwing. Throwing up and stuff. And you got other ones. Oh, they like, they're really, ah, ah. they like, that's the bravery. Bravery and faith are two different things. So don't get it confused. It's good to be brave. Ain't nothing wrong with being brave if you ain't got no faith. Ain't nothing wrong with being, being with that. And then there's bravery on other different levels. But faith is totally different. Faith is no fear. Faith is ultra confidence. Faith is like, yo, I love you. And, um... I know you, I love you, and I don't, I know that you ain't going to cheat on me. You know what I mean? I'm good. I'm good. You want to go out? Go ahead. I'm chill. I'm be at the crib. Go ahead. You good. You know what I mean? Faith is like, you know, um, I don't know. Guys, you got a girl, man, and, uh, you know, she dressed nice, look good, smell good. And uh, maybe you at a nightclub. You brought sand to the beach. Faith is like, <laughs> I know this is a weird snap, but we real, we human, right? Faith is like going to the club. You take sand to the beach. And your girl say she got to use the bathroom. Now, if you that nigga that's standing outside the door. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with being protective and ensuring that your companion it is safe and sound. But on the same token, Faith is like, yo, she going to the bathroom. I'm going to be up, babe. I'm going to be over here. Okay. You just, you could you make sure, you know, just when you're done, you know, I'll be over here. But if you that nigga standing outside the door with your hand in your pocket, Look inside the side like, hey, nigga, hey, if you even look at this door when my girl come out, bro, hey, we going to have some problems, bro. That's like faith. Like, you're insecure. Faith is like, like, you don't have to worry. You, it's like when Simon walked on water. Simon had it going. You know what I mean? <clears throat> when he was walking on water, but then he lost the faith and the dang there started to drown. Like, he had it going. <clears throat> His faith. Was good. His faith turned to bravery. Don't let you don't. That's what you don't want to do. Because a garden is going to be a garden. How so? A garden is going to grow. Put like this. A garden is going to. Not even a garden. Well, how can I say? Um, a plant is going to grow no matter what you say, who say, 
No matter what. What do I mean by that? You see plants growing from the dang on concrete of a building. You see vine, vines going like, yo, I don't care if it don't rain that much or if it may be a drought. But as long as I live, as long as I live and I have breath in me, I'm going to do what the Lord say do. And I believe that I know that I'm going to be the best I could be. And like, I'm going to grow. So like, yo, this this concrete ain't going to stop me. I'm about to grow through this concrete. I'm going to be the, you, you've seen it. You've seen grass on the building. You've seen, like, if you go look at the trees. Go look at nature. And that's another thing with the city so quiet. Have y'all heard the birds in the morning? Have you heard the squirrels? Isn't it a different essence, a nice? It makes you appreciate nature. It makes you appreciate the elements of the Lord. Um, but the show is about faith. Let a garden teach you faith. Again, I want to make this short. Man, I got class in three hours and then i got other stuff i gotta do i got other stuff i gotta do i'm gonna do another show uh shortly on um for your eyes only i don't even know what episode we on right now i gotta go back and look at the archive but um i'm gonna show some of the art projects that i work now i'm working on um not in specific sequence i'm not gonna say which video i'm gonna do next because i have to you have to hold me to it so i'm not gonna tell you which video i'm gonna do next but know that that's coming soon i got some projects that i want to share you we'll break it down there's a lot of spiritual meaning behind it um and uh it's really a blessing it's it's i, I designed it in a way to be a classic that stands the test of time it's not for me but we are born in this world to show the glory of the Lord. Like some people are born with intelligence and with that intelligence, they are able to be, uh, um, I don't know, be a doctor, remember things and, and help. Some people have the intelligence to be a lawyer. Some people have the intelligence to be a judge and the, uh, uh, the, uh, the fairness to be a judge. Some people are, are built to, uh, um, I don't know, to be inventors. Whatever it is, our goal is to, at the best of our ability, if you're a cook, god dang on, you better cook brownies, cakes, cupcakes, uh, uh, biscuits, barbecue, er everything that there is that, that has to do with cooking. You better, like, use it to every element that you can because what it does, not only are you getting pleasure from something that you enjoy doing, but others that view your work see how talented you really are. Like a, a, a person that builds the Lamborghini cars, whoever designed that car, right? It's an iconic cut. When you look at a Lamborghini, you could tell it from afar. But that person who designed it, they did it for themselves. They did it because it was cool, it was something fast, something, whatever it was. But them, by them doing that, they showed the glory of the Lord. By the person who created the light bulb, they just wanted it because they really wanted some light, man. Like, man, these candles, man. The candle is cool, but when this wind, when these storms come through and that wind is seeping through the crack, I can't do the candle. I can't do the candle thing because I had to kill that roach the other night and wave my hand swifted so fast over the fire. I put the light out and that was the last bit of fire. That was the last match we had. I can't do it. No, we're not going to do that again. So I don't know whoever knows who knows why they created these things, the light bulb and you know, whatever all these other inventions are, but they did it for themselves and for the people eventually, right? So just continue to, and, and my goal is to continue to create everything that is within me that I can do, whether it is cooking, whether it is talking, whether it is designing, I am going to do it to the best of my ability because it makes me happy, it's fun, and I am showing what the Lord has instilled in me. There's a scripture about talents. How the Lord distributes certain talents to different groups, uh, a certain group of people. He gave some a few. He gave one a lot. He gave another one like a medium size. He gave another one like, you know, like one or two. He gave another one like one. And based on what they did, they would get more. So if they didn't, some, some use their to their ability. They use all their talents. And then they got more talents. Right. Then, then there was one that was like, you know what? I got this talent, but I'm going to bury it. I, I, I know I got it, but I'm going to bury it. And the Lord's like, you know what? OK, you're not going to use your talent. I'm going to take it away and I'm going to give it to the one who used his. Why? 
What well, doesn't it goes? Doesn't that make sense? They say if you don't use it, you'll lose it, right? If you don't lose use it, you'll lose it. If you're a singer and you don't sing, you're gonna lose your talent. If you are, if you draw and you don't draw, you're gonna lose your talent. If you could uh. The, if you could put a computer together, but you're not doing it, or if you can code, or if you're a linguist and you can speak that language and you're fluent in Spanish, Italian, and you could just pick up languages fast and maybe you speak seven languages. If you don't use it and do what you do, yo, you will lose it. But the more you use it, the more you expand your mind, the more your mind grows. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it, it's like, it's like, Another example that we can all agree to, for, unless those who have specific health elements. But if you uh, go to a very fine restaurant, uh, one of my favorites that I haven't been to, I always watch the videos and saw the pictures. Uh, one is called Alenia. It's in Chicago. And another one is called The White Rabbit. In a, uh, it's a restaurant in Russia. A very, very high-end restaurant. They, they serve uh, like a 16-course meal. Very, very intricate dishes that look beautiful. They're very cool. They use special ingredients. They use cool techniques, right? These different foods, they all have different tastes, right? Sweet, sour, salty, bitter. Now, we all know that the more sweet stuff that we eat, the more sweet taste we're going to want. The more salt, you know, so if we don't use all of our taste buds, we will kind of be desensitized to accepting the taste bud. It's like we, not, it's not that we lose it, but it's like we can't handle it. Like if we don't eat, if you don't eat a lot of spice, and then you just eat pepper, like you just eat cracked pepper, but you don't eat red pepper flakes, you don't eat jalapeno or serrano or habanero, and I put a disclaimer, I'm not recommending these. I don't choke on something or get, buy the stuff, buy the hottest pepper and say, I ain't gonna told you to get the uh, $20 Dorito chip and you done they gone choked on it and the milk wasn't enough to cheat. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay? We're going to keep it real. But um, if you don't uh, 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 exercise the things that the Lord is giving you, then you will lose it. You won't be able to handle what the Lord really has in store. You feel me? Friday, May 1st, we're going to do a show. Three-hour segment. We're going live on Real TV. And it's going to be called the Global Shutdown Back to Tradition. That's what we're going to do. Uh, really quick, I want to inspire you, like I always do, with some scriptures that we can talk about. And um, uh, just a few is just to, just to remind you that how good the Lord is and, um, you know, how it's uh, uh, very important that we uh, take heed to uh, the faith. Not only building a garden, if you don't have the means to get to the place or I don't know if you don't have all the supplies or the egg cart to put it in or whatever, just just get inspired to do it. But if you can't get to it, just when you're out and about, look at the trees, look at the grass, they grow, look at the plants, look at the birds. They don't know where their food is coming from. All a bird knows is that I'm going to go to this dirt in the morning and I'm going to pluck it. And I'm gonna try to find a worm. The blood ain't. I mean, the bird is not saying that. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I can't eat. The bird is so blessed. They getting worms. They getting sunflower seeds from us. Squirrels getting peanuts. We throw at them. They getting walnuts. Watermelon people throw at them. Squirrels are blessed. They they are eating the fruitness of the world, <laughs> of the earth. You feel me? Well, um, I just want to inspire you, because uh. It's important that we have faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please the Lord. With faith, you'll get so much more in your life. Not only that, but um, uh, I want to share with you, as you can see at, at the bottom of the page, uh, I, I, I put some links here for you. And in the links, which is from the site Byte Charge, um you'll see that the the questions that uh, you could take yourselves. Now here, you'll see the disclaimer that I do not endorse taking anything that has to do with negativity, witchcraft, sorcery, anything opposite of the Most High. There's one particular test that you should not take, and I'm putting a disclaimer on it, because you will have to deal with the psychological effects 
and or trauma in dealing with this answer. If you decide to go and take this test, do not, I repeat, do not take the test that says, how long will I live? That is sorcery. That is witchcraft. That is like the golden apple to lead you astray. Everything else is cool. And it's like fun and games, you know, uh, some of the cool ones. Right. But that one is like the temptation. That is the temptation of Satan to get you to fall for the okie doke. Do not take that test. I didn't take the test. I'm not suggesting you to take the test. But I took some uh, quick, cool 10 questionnaires that, as you see, um, it said some things about my personality. I strongly agree with what they said. I, like, by all means, I really do. It's pretty cool. Um, so if you have time and if you want to take them, I, it's, it'll be fun to take it. Okay. Uh, now that that's out the way, uh, let me give you some verses and, uh, you know, we'll play us one song and then we'll go. I got to get some type of rest before I go to class. Pray for me, please, please, y'all, please. Um, let's see, where can we start? This is about faith. All right. Um, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will make you straight your paths. He's going to make sure everything good for you. And the good news is that when you put all your trust in the Lord, you're going to be rewarded. He's going to set your life straight. He's going to lead you down the right path. There's no doubt about it. Um, let's go to Mark, Mark chapter nine, verse 23, Yeshua said to him, if you can believe all things are possible for those who believe. Now we know that the scripture is scripture. And that all scripture comes from the Lord because that men were moved by the spirit of the most high to write the scripture. Right. So all scripture comes from the most high. Now, of course, when it comes from Yeshua. It's very powerful, like all the scripture is powerful. All the scripture is powerful, but when it comes from the one who died for, for our sins it's very, very possible. And he said, he said, if you can believe, he says, only if you can believe, he said, if you can believe, all things are possible for those who believe. What does that mean? If you erase your doubt and, 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 and if you try to believe, if you just try to believe in Christ, then amazing things can happen for you. You know what I mean? Instead of looking, you have to reverse it. Don't look at the seed to 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 expect the growth. Be instead of looking at the seed, be the seed and know that you're going to grow regardless. It's going to take some time for me to get this car. It's going to take me some time to get this land. It's going to take me some time to get a wife and, uh, uh, you know, to get the money that I need. But I know that it's coming because I have a vision and I know that I can't see it. I can't touch it right now. But you know what? I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Case in point, um, uh, like when I was planting, I planted a few things. I planted some peppermint, dill, uh, basil. I planted some tomatoes. I planted some beans. I planted some strawberry seeds. Uh, what else I planted? I planted like a purple basil and a green basil. Um, all, all is food. All of it is food. I'm, now, if you just want to plant flowers and things like that, that's cool too. But as for me, I want to do the fruit food thing. I'm doing all food for the most part. Now, I do got some uh, uh, a few plants in here to clean the air. It started off originally with like one. Uh, in the first month, it was like it went up to like five. Now I got I probably got about. Mm, I probably got about 11 different plants that are non. They're not flowers, but they're good for the air. Different plant. Right. So if you just want to do the plant thing, that's cool. But I say that to say this. That you know how it talks about the faith of a mustard seed. The faith of a must, mustard. I mean, a mustard seed has to be really, really small because it grows. The fields grow so large and big. Now, 
I didn't have a mustard seed per se, but I had a, a, a if you can get a pack, I should, now if you got any allergies, don't do it, okay? Uh, but if you can get a pack of peppermint seeds or spearmint seeds, what have you, they are so, so, so small. They are tiny, tiny, tiny. Or even if you can look at them online, they are super, super duper tiny. So tiny, it's like the tip of a pen. And I can't believe, like, I can believe it. I'm just figuratively, figuratively speaking that I can't believe that something that tiny can grow into a leaf, into a stem. Into, it's just amazing. Anyways, we got to keep the faith. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. If you keep the faith, if you keep your faith, faith close to the Lord, He's going to be with you every step. You don't got to trip. He's going to be with you every step through life. But especially when you need him the most, he's going to be there. He's going to be your God. And you're going to have synchronicities. You're going to see different numbers. You're going to see 11-11. You're going to see 1-1-1. You're going to see 5-5-5. Five, five, five. You're going to see 3-3-3. Three, three, three. You're going to see 4-4-4. Four, four, four. You're going to see 2-2-2. Two, two, two. You're going to see butterflies go through your way. You're going to see feathers fall from the sky from somewhere. You're going to see the the the, br the breeze blow. You're going to see... uh uh uh. Uh, uh, different things, different elements in the world that the Lord sends to show you a sign. Some signs are for good, some signs are for bad. Like you see a roach, it's not really a good thing. You know, if you got roaches in your house, it's not a good thing. Yo, something's going on. It's not just because it's infested. Something's going on in your house, spiritually, that you need to fix. You know what it is and you know what you're doing, you know. Um, anyways, let's let's read... Um, Y'all want to read one more? Let's read one last one. We'll stop. I got to go. I really do. I really wanted this to be a five-minute show. Now you see why we're going to do a three-hour show. And I'm completely exhausted right now. It's by the grace of the most how I'm even doing this. Romans chapter 10, 17. So faith comes, cometh by hearing, and hearing the word of the Lord. What's the good news? The good news is that a large part of your faith comes from learning, believing, listening, and acting out on the words in the Bible. The deeper you dive in the word of the Lord, the deeper your faith will grow. Uh, if you believe in the Lord, he will save you. If, but, but his love is humble. He decides when to lend you a helping hand. You don't decide when you get the helping hand. He decides when he's going to give it to you. It's like if 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 your parents, they'll, they'll decide when they give you some money, you know. They'll decide when they give you your allowance. They'll decide when they go on a family trip. You know, the Lord decides when he's going to bless you. And we're already blessed because we live in. We're already blessed. If you believe in even in the smallest amounts, he's going to reward you. Even in the smallest amounts. His goodness comes from the love and the grace and, and, and you know what I mean? Uh, you know... You'll never feel unsatisfied once you know that you, wh who, who you're believing in, you know. Anyways, set some goals to get your garden started. Set some goals to watch the show on Friday. Uh, if you could ever so be inclined to tune in, it'll be special. Um, I'll be graduating on May 7th. And on next week, so if any of you all want to send some love my way, any kind and whatsoever be, whatever is in your heart. If you want to uh, get me a pack of uh, seeds that I can grow something. If you want to buy me a cup of coffee when all this stuff is done away with. If you would like to, I I'll tell you, you know one thing that I, would, I, would, I, give, I give you two things on my wish list that I would like. Now, I'm not saying that you can give me anything. But there is a scripture that says that if someone is giving you something that is spiritual for your soul, then shall they not reap the carnal things? It's like, what are the carnal things? Because the spiritual things is greater. Like if you if a person becomes faithful and they believe in the Lord and they end up getting to heaven and they make it into heaven. Not that, that a person got you to heaven because the Lord is the person that gets you to heaven. That person it was just used as an instrument. But if that person helped you in your faith somehow or just helped you in some type of way to help you grow closer to the Lord, 
then they it's okay for them to get carnal things be, of the world because we live in a carnal world. If we have a body, we got to eat, we got to feed it, we got to dress it. We have to maintain it. So the carnal things is great. We need it. And there's some things that we want. So it's okay. It's called life. But the spiritual is even more better because it's going to be forever. You're going to have like diamond encrusted mansions and all type of stuff, you know, that you can't even imagine. Right. So I have two things on my wish list that I'll share with you. One is that I have Spreaker.com, right? I'm a broadcaster. And on my broadcaster plan, in order to get the show, I pay for it. You don't. All the things that you, all the free downloads and things, you, they're free for you. But I pay for it at cost. I pay for it 19, I pay 19.99 a month for the plan just to keep it running. And I've been paying it for three years now. Now, there's one thing that I've been wanting to get on my wish list for a long time and I haven't. It. And it's to be an anchorman. An anchorman on a uh, speaker right now, I'm considered a broadcaster. What that means is that I only have a certain amount of hours in space for all my shows. So, like, let's say for an example, I can only do maybe 500 shows as a broadcaster. Whereas if I was an anchorman, it's unlimited. And I have unlimited storage. I have more speech features. Like I have, like, cool sound effects and things. And I can, like, uh, DJ the music for y'all instead of, like, Pause it. I could do like ad libs, like yo yo, welcome to real TV. You know, I don't know, like some weird stuff. You know what I mean? And uh, it's like cool stuff like that. But the increment plan is like two hundred and seventy nine dollars. But that's like for the whole year, I think. The cost may be a little bit different. But um, I would love that. So if someone has some interest to, I don't know, help me celebrate for graduation or maybe uh, just because you've been watching the show and listening for some time or something that helped you or something that you like and you want to donate, hey, by all means, I accept donations. Uh, the other thing on my wish, li wish list is that, uh, okay, I'll do three. I'll do three. I'll do three. Okay, three and that's it. Three's a charm, right? You got the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, right? <laughs> all right, so I'll do three. All right, so the, uh, the second thing is that I want to create a bigger and better studio. I want to do an at-home studio. The one that I have, I use this wimpy, like, two-piece earphones, and I got to hold the cord with my hand so I don't do like this. You hear all this ruffling? You probably hear it right now. All this, all that right there it was just this dang on classic uh, earbuds with an uh, earpiece. And it's, it's dangly. The job probably costs like $5. I want to get a mic with a windscreen. If you want to purchase something, a, a wind mic for me from Amazon. If you want to get some uh, foam pads for me so I could set the closet up so I can have good sound and good quality. By all means, I accept the donation. The third thing on the list, my wish list, is any type of art supply that you can imagine. If you want to get me some paint brushes, because you know your boy like to paint. If you want to get me some paint brushes, if you want to get me some type of paint, or if you want to send some canvas my way, or like one canvas, or some paper, or some pens, or if you want to send me some running shoes, I wear a size 12. If you like, if you know some good running shoes that you want to buy from me, I'll give you my P.O. box. Hit me on the email at 777realtv at gmail.com. I'll give you the P.O. And um, you can send it my way. You know, I, by all means, I accept donations. But I just want to throw that in there. Um, I love you much. Stay tuned for the next Friday. We're going live at 11.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Set some goals in life. Just in overall, most importantly, keep faith in the Lord. This is Goals by yours truly, Micah Israel. One. You say if it comes from the heart, then it's heartfelt. So... I want this to come from the heart. So, here it goes. It's by 145. I'm chilling at the crib. I got a lot of goals. I want to marry my rib. But I gotta build a crib. I gotta get land. It's a lot of gays. It's a lot of trans. Supply and demand. She know I'm the man. She know I'm the man. Even though I peacock just like a bird. And my feathers be out like a fan. I'm black, and I be out in the sun, I mean, even though I'm black, and when I'm out in the sun, when I go, 
home. It's funny cause I'm tan. Um I got a lot of goals. I wanna go to the beach and bury my feet. I gotta keep it real for y'all. I run real TV, so I mean I gotta keep it 100 with y'all so you know me and uh so I gotta teach. And it's funny how when I keep it real with y'all, some people say that I can preach, but it's a lot going on. It's a world going on. What you gonna do when the bank's closed? You don't know? I don't put money in the bank. I put the money on the bookshelf. I, but I ain't gonna say much, though. I don't need to say much, though. It's a lot going on, though. But I still got goals, though. You know? I still pray. I still pray. Like, every day. I don't go to the club, though. And this is Saturday, though. I mean, right now it's Friday. And I'm chilling at my place. I don't go to the club. But I got a lot of goals. I got a lot of goals. I need to go to the store. I need to work out. And I want to eat salads. And I want to write ballads. <laughs> I got talent. <laughs> at least I think so. Well, at least I know so. When it comes to the truth, I don't even need a boot. I got a lot of goals. I want to have children. But this world's so crazy. So I don't know about children. But if it comes, what if it... I don't know what to say, though. But I got a lot of goals, though. I got to get to heaven, though. We got to get to heaven, though. I got a lot of goals, though. So I hope you got goals, too.